Yo, what's going on guys? Kaltamush back at it with another video, and it's that time of the year again to talk about PC Gamer's favorite game series and favorite game publisher. We all know that the PC Gamers love and adore Ubisoft and Watch Dogs, and how more fitting is it than now to cover the Watch Dogs 2 system requirements? Okay, I'm obviously joking if you haven't picked up on that. Watch Dogs wasn't the best game on PC, and Ubisoft hasn't had the best track record with PC games. But the Watch Dogs 2 system requirements have been revealed. The footage we've seen of the game thus far has looked okay. We'll have to wait and see how the PC version turns out, but with the system requirements out and a new release date... Let's talk about Watch Dogs 2. Originally, this game was set for a release on November 15th. It'll still be coming on that date for PS4 and Xbox One. However, PC gamers have to wait another two weeks and will be getting the game on November 29th. Not a big delay, and if this is something where that two weeks will help them really polish up the game, I am all for it. Would much rather see Watch Dogs 2 come out in a working state rather than two weeks early. And the system requirements have also been revealed, so let's go over that. For minimum CPU requirement, you're looking at an Intel Core i5-2400 or an AMD FX6120 at 3.5GHz, the i5 at 2.5GHz. Nothing really major there, both older CPUs, the FX6120 in particular, that's not a very high-end CPU at all, and whenever these developers do put an AMD FX CPU as minimum along with an i5, most of the time if you have an i3 you'll be good as well. For recommended CPU requirement, you're looking at an Intel Core i5-3470 at 3.2GHz or an AMD FX8120 at 3.9GHz. Once again, nothing too high end. For a next gen exclusive game, Watch Dogs 2 having CPU requirements like this, nothing too surprising and that's not really high end at all. RAM requirement, you're looking at 6GB for the minimum requirement and 8GB of RAM for the recommended recommended requirement. Again, that's not very surprising, although having minimum recommended requirement for RAM as 6GB is a little new. A lot of games have been going with either 4GB and 8GB for minimum and recommended respectively, and for some of the higher end games, they'll even do 8GB as minimum and 16GB as recommended. Once again, even for the RAM requirement, kind of on the lower side. Let's talk about what you guys care about, the GPU. For minimum GPU requirement, you're looking at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660, that's a 2GB video card, or the AMD Radeon HD 70. 870, that's also a 2GB video card. Those GPUs are very old, I believe both of those released back in 2012. To compare them to something more modern, maybe like a GTX 950, or an R9 270, around that area. For a recommended GPU requirement, they have a lot of different GPUs listed, so let's go over all of them. They have the GTX 780 3GB, the GTX 970, that's a 4GB, or quote-unquote 4GB. And they have the GTX 1060 3GB listed. On the AMD side, they only have the Radeon R9 290. That's a 4GB video card. They have that listed. So I actually do like that Ubisoft has gone and listed a bunch of different NVIDIA GPUs just to make things a little bit easier to follow. I would really like that if more developers would do that. And what am I saying? Like Ubisoft doing something in regards to PC gaming that I want more developers to do. But yeah, I would like to see developers list GPUs from multiple generations. So just for the people that aren't too savvy with GPUs, it keeps it a little bit easier to follow for them, but nonetheless, nothing too crazy for the recommended GPU requirement, but as I'm saying this, none of these requirements look too crazy, however, if you look back at the original Watch Dogs system requirements, even when that game came out in 2014, its system requirements were very moderate, it was nothing crazy. And that game obviously didn't turn out too well, so you still have to be a little tentative in regards to Ubisoft PC releases. One final thing I want to cover is the hard drive requirement, 50 gigabytes. That's pretty much the norm these days for these big open world games. It's just once again, if you're building a gaming PC and you want to have a bunch of games downloaded at the same time, I've mentioned it a lot, but a standalone SSD in the majority of cases is not going to be enough. And for a lot of people, even a one terabyte hard drive might not be enough. You might want to look into two or three terabyte drives. But that's just a little bit of advice from me. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you excited for Watch Dogs 2? Most of you guys, probably not. It is Watch Dogs. I wasn't a big fan of the first game. But this might be a case like with Assassin's Creed 2. Remember, Assassin's Creed wasn't a fantastic game. But Assassin's Creed 2 just built upon everything that the first game did. And it just made it so much better and a much more complete experience. We might see that with Watch Dogs 2. I'm not ruling that completely off the table. But Ubisoft really has to win me over with this one. Like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comments as well. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.